Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I believe I'm live now. Come on. I think. I think I am. Hello. Hello, everybody. Says I'm live. Let me know if you can see me. Um, so hopefully my internet is fixed. I had the, uh, cable people come back yesterday and they, like, replaced, hello, they replaced a bunch of the, like, connections and stuff outside. Let me refresh this. And they said it should be better. So, and if not, then they're gonna have to, like, rerun all the cable from my building. So I really hope it's fixed. It seems to be doing okay for the moment. <laughs> Aw, uh, thank you so much for the doodle, Clown Moody. Uh, thank you so much, Lena Lotje. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but thank you so much for the Prime sub. Yeah, so the cable guy, he was here till like 6 o'clock last night working on it. And he replaced a bunch of stuff and said hopefully the connection should be better. I hope so. Um, it's not raining today, so. <laughs> um... Have I seen Paralives live mode? I have not, Nathan. I have not. I, I have not been keeping up with anything uh, recently. So, but I'm going to make a video on it soon. So I got to check it out. Uh, we are doing s random legacy challenge today for Sims 4 that I started last week. Paralives early access has a release date. Yay! Okay, I got to look into that and make a video very soon. Very soon. Yes. Um, uh, hello, hello, Thunder Foxy. Hello, Carrie. I'm back, I'm back. We're not playing Pleasant View today. Um, I'm hoping to play that on Sunday if everything goes smoothly. Today we're playing Random Legacy Challenge that I started last week. 2025 is Paralyzed Year, yay! Man, that's earlier than I expected it to be. I'm excited. Oh, we're making Pleasant View there too. You know I am, Nathan. I've already been think I've already been planning it in my mind. <laughs> uh, uh, I just posted the a new Agnes video today. That's the last one, Tavender. That's the last part of that series. It's posted today. Um, hello everybody. The only up there's no updates on the corrupted Sims three file. It's corrupted. That's all. That's the end of it. I'm sorry. I can't get it to work. Uh, yay. <laughs> Hello, John. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. So, I am going to load up our save file here. I gotta remember our founder's name. I can't remember her name. Ferraro is her last name. Uh, what the heck was her name? Oh my god, I completely forgot. And where is she? Where is she? Uh, Esther! Esther Ferraro! That is her name. Okay, so we created her in the last week's stream, and we... She actually didn't look too bad. I'm, like, really happy, actually, with how she turned out. Some of our random sims have been just crazy, so she turned out pretty well. And we're gonna be playing her today, and hopefully we can find a partner for her to get this legacy going, y'all. Oh, Laura Sims, you just subbed for another three months, but it didn't come up. Well, thank you so much for the sub. I'm sorry it didn't come up. I don't know why. Maybe maybe there's a delay or something. <laughs> Travis Scott, yeah, he's, a, he's an option, too, that she could meet. That is true. I don't think she met him last time. Screw love, we need Trashy 2.0. Well, I hope we do get another Trashy. All right, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and go over to the game, y'all, and let's get started. Um, let me pull y'all over here. There we go. So here's Esther Ferraro. She lives in Del Sol Valley. She lives in this big empty lot. It was actually like the perfect place for her to live because it already had this empty lot. Uh, thank you so much, Sh Shelby, for gifting. Hold on, what happened? What happened? Thank you so much, Shelby, for gifting a sub to Jordan Music 98 Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. So, she's super picky. Okay, Esther is super picky. Just like our Sims 3 diva, she's kind of like her. She's super picky. We could not find anybody she was attracted to. She was meeting dudes all over the place. Didn't like any of them. So, we're going to keep trying today. See who we can find. I still want her to meet Joaquin. The random founders are super duper, duper picky, as they should. Yes, they are very picky. <laughs> yeah, I thought about using doing a kind of online dating kind of thing with the clubs, but I for for her purposes, I kind of just find it fun to go out and I don't know why I just got a last exception there. 
I kind of find it fun for her to go out and meet somebody. Okay, what happened? She just got back. She's sore from work. She's living in a micro home. Um, let's just check out. So her lifetime want here is to reach level 10 of the credit career. I moved out of the way so you can see it. Um, she needs hygiene, y'all. She's stinky and sore. But as you can see, her little our little legacy shack over here. Um, she has no. She has a toilet bush and a bed and a shack, and that's all she has, and she has 43 simoleons. Oh, and wasn't she also, I feel like she was also on her period last time. Why is she not on her period now? I don't know. Uh, she wants to carve a pumpkin? What the hell? Take a vacation day? I don't know. Um, so, she works from 6 to 11 a.m. It's 11.38, so she just recently got off work. <laughs> all legacy start in a Stone Age shack, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, for her attractiveness, let's see. Hold on. Um, she's still wearing her work outfit, I think. So, let's go to attractiveness. Choose Esther's preferences. And so, I think, so obviously we look, she is attracted to males. She likes a masculine appearance. Thank you so much, Zodiac Emma, for the uh, two months at Tier 1. Thank you so much. She likes human occults. I like that it's called human occult. And she does not have a she does not have a preference for age. Um she let's see if she has any of these preferences. She does like black hair. Uh it looks like she likes dirty blondes, brown. So she has several hair preferences here. Um and then as far as hair length, she likes long hair. Okay, that's going to be harder to find. That's going to be harder to find. Uh, she likes a clean shave. See if you can think of any sims that meet these standards for her, okay? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, oh god, what's happening? Thank you so much, Cass, with class for the 17 months. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the raid. Uh, Rachel Cave, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so anyway, we're looking at our Founder Sims attractiveness right now. And details, she likes, she likes green eyes. She likes green eyes, long, long dark hair. I, we're never going to find anybody for her. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Let me know if you think of anybody. Uh, she likes freckles, tattoos, and body hair. She likes it all. And skin tone, she likes light and intermediate skin tones. Um, oh, the last exception probably is from NPCC. Yeah, you're probably right. I meant to take that out. Dang it. I meant to take NPCC out for this. Um, let me actually do that real quick, y'all. Let's chat for a second. And let me just take out NPCC because it was causing a problem with uh, workers not showing up to our community lots. So just give me one second. And let me take that out. Luckily, Sims 4 is, like, super fast to load, so it'll only take me one second here. Um, let me just go into Electronic Arts. Thank you so much, Cast with Class, for gifting a sub to Volpecula. Thank you very much. Let me go into my mods. And let me just take out my Paulson folder real quick. And I can just plop that back in when I need it again. And we will hit play. There we go. All right, we're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> you got a new job working for His Majesty's government. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Hello, Moonwork. You didn't miss anything. We just uh, got started here. So I'm just loading up our save file. I had to take out NPCC from my game because I'm worried it's causing uh, problems for me in this particular save. Hey, dreams are expensive. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Did I hear about some mods from the Sims resource having malware? No, I did not hear about that. Yeah, she likes a long-haired, green-eyed man with no beard. Does that exist? Does that exist in the game? Oh, wow, Alice in Wonderland. Well, enjoy your road trip. <laughs> 
Is it normal for Lilith and Dirk to have a negative attraction for each other when they age up? Um, it's never happened to me. You mean in Sims 2? It's never happened to me. Kyle Coulson? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Paka Uha. He comes with island living but doesn't have a home. Hmm. Does she but does she like socks with sandals? That's the real question. <laughs> Kyle Kyle Kyleson from Growing Together. I don't have Growing Together! I don't have Growing Together yet. Dang, I need to I need to get it. I need to get all the packs I don't have. Uh she doesn't want some big overgrown monster who's always thinking about food. <laughs> That's a joke from the dating video, if you guys don't know. Okay, I know I'm going to love growing together. That's why I didn't get it yet, because I want to be able to sit down and play it specifically and, like, make a video about it. So, i am probably be doing that. I wanted to do it before we played Pleasant View, but I might be doing that next week. This past week, my internet has been so spotty, I've barely been able to do anything. Um, that's why I wasn't able to stream on Sunday, and then I only got one video uploaded this week, so... Uh, hopefully I'll get a lot more done next week, though. Um, the hippie from Eco Living. Yeah. There is a long-haired guy in Eco Living, right? Okay, well, let's send let's send her out. First of all, she's got to go somewhere where she can take a shower. Let's go to the gym or something. Um, there's a gym over here, so we'll just go there first. And no, she's not. She has been flirting with Marcus Flex, Marcus Flex and Paolo Roca, though. She just started flirting with him on her own, like. But she doesn't like it. <laughs> you played so much Sims 4, but you recently got Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. Yeah, I play that on my laptop, too. I play Sims 2 on my laptop. I hope my internet is fixed. It seems to be doing well now. They came yesterday and replaced a bunch of stuff, so hopefully. We need Melba, yeah. Alright, so she's gonna go in here and take a shower real quick. Just a quick shower. Just a quick shower. Hose yourself off from the day. And then, and then we're gonna go and try uh, and find somebody else. No, I still got a last exception. I still don't know what's causing that, y'all. Okay, get off your phone and go take a shower. Of course she's checking her phone. Of course she is. She's picky, but also flirty. She'll flirt with anybody, but she's got standards on who she's gonna be in a relationship with, apparently. So let's get her through the shower. Hello, who's that? Anybody here that she can talk to? Who's upstairs? Nobody. There's one Sim here. Uh, there's a celebrity. It's just going to be a bunch of celebrities and stuff. So I don't see anybody here. Um, let's actually, I want to send her. Let's see. Where should we send her? Let's go to... Hmm... Evergreen Harbor? Is this the, this is the eco living place, right? Let's go to the bar there and see who she might run into. Uh, thank you so much, Dino Queen Bee, for the six months of tier one. Thank you so much, or Dino Queen Queen Bee. Uh, no, I didn't get for rent. I didn't get for rent, Ayla. I don't know what's causing it. No, I do not use Meaningful Stories. I used to use it, but I found it wasn't, um, yeah, I found it to be too powerful as well. I found it affected mo emotions in a way that I didn't like, so, um, it's a good mod, but it just, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for my playing style. Okay, finally, we've got a bartender here, and we've got Best Sterling here. That's it. That's the only, only people around. Uh, she's getting down. Look at her go. <laughs> Being sad for a week is a reason why we had no date Nate. I know. He couldn't date anybody. He was too sad. What is she so tense for? She's on an industrial street. Oh, she doesn't like being here. Well, get inside then. And also, gross air. It's gross here. She doesn't like it. <laughs> well, get inside. Maybe you'll feel a little bit better. Oh, she does not seem to. Also... She doesn't like the music. Okay, she hates it here, y'all. She absolutely hates Let's get her out of here. She hates this place. She's miserable. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. She hates it. Um, I don't know. 
I was trying to like, let's go over here to this community space. <laughs> Windenburg. Yeah, I need to go back to Windenburg. I don't know if she would... I, did she meet Jay Huntington? I don't think so. Okay, let's see how she feels about it here. Um, no, she does not like this place at all. I was hoping she could meet... Here's some dude. Look, who's this? Knox Greenberg. Is he married? Meet him. Uh, friendly introduction. We met a lot of dudes in Windenburg. And, but she still didn't meet Joaquin. <laughs> He's single? Okay, good. Let's see how she feels about him. She looks very pissed off. She does not look happy. She's like, hey, I guess, dude, whatever. Uh, okay, so now let's see how she feels about him. Thank you so much, 20 bits, for the four mo 10 months at tier one. Thank you so much. Unattractive. Oh my god. She hates everybody. We're leaving this place. Where does she want to go? She wants to have a drink, so let's go to another bar somewhere. Ugh. Alright, let's see. Let's go to- she hates this world. She hates this world. So, who has she not met? Brindleton Bay. I don't think there's anybody in Brindleton Bay. There's- let's go to Sulani. Maybe she'll like it there. Let's go to the sandbar at Sulani. I don't think she'll like city living. I don't think she'll like the city either. I don't know. I gotta hydrate. Let me hydrate for ya. We're looking for long dark hair. Come on. She's at the bar here. Okay, is she less tense? You're not on an industrial street. Chill out. You're not- you're no longer on an industrial street. Oh my god. And you're no- it's no longer gross air. Why is she so upset? She's just mad because she had to go there. Okay, she's putting her swimsuit on. She's- I guess she's gonna go for a swim. Maybe that'll make her feel better. And we can wait for some sims to show up over here. Uh, she's hungry though. She's gonna have to get some food. Is that a food stand right there? I'm, oh, that's a bathroom. That is not a food stand. You don't want to go looking for food in there. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Somebody's coming. Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Are you? Who are you? Oh, hello. Yeah, I think you are a girl. And she does not like girls, unfortunately. Uh, thank you so much, Blaze. Blaze. Blazing Doc, I don't know how to say your name, but thank you so much for the three months into your one. Okay, I'm keeping my eye out for people. Who's up here? I saw somebody moving around. Um, it's just a bunch of chicks. <laughs> it's just a bunch of girls. There's somebody. Um, uh, don't see anybody else though. Oh, well, she's gonna have to go get something to eat now because she's hungry. So let's see. Can she get some food up here in the bar? You think she should meet Vlad? <laughs> Maybe she'll like him. That'd be crazy if she liked him. Okay, there's not even a mixologist. Oh, wait, who's that? Who's that? Hello, you? You have a name? A name that's very difficult for me to pronounce. Yuku Panipo? He's a mermaid? I don't care. You like who you like. He's an evil merman. She's probably gonna fall in love with this dude. Watch. This is the one she's gonna like. Was she scared? She's scared from swimming in the deep ocean? Well, get out and come meet this dude. Okay, she's better now. She's happy now from a relaxing swim. That got rid of some of her tension. Um, he's waiting here to meet you. Where are you? Where is she? Wow! She's taking her precious time. Let's hope he doesn't leave before she gets up there. 
<laughs> She's not the brightest crayon in the box, is she? Oh, wait, 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 there, hold on, hold, wait. Is that a, is that a female sim? I can't tell. Hold on, introduce yourself to this person. They're non-binary male. Well, come meet, come meet him. And then here, who's this? Oh my god, there's so many guys here. Come on. Oh, it's a girl? Well, she can meet this person as well. I don't care, just meet everybody. <laughs> That's Makoa. Okay, let's see how she feels about these. Um... Basic looking. Okay. And I don't think she's met him yet. Unattractive. My god, never in my life. She is so picky. Who's the- Oh, look, here's somebody. Meet this guy then. Hello. <laughs> she has no taste. I don't, I'm not even, I don't even care if they're married at this point. I just wonder if she'll ever be basic looking. Basic looking. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where's the other guy? She never got, even got to meet him. I think he's long gone though. Did we ever get a bartender? Nope. Okay. She's got to go because she's got to get some food. Wait, is that somebody? Nope. Alright, she's got to go find some food. Let's see where else she can go. She missed the merman. That's the beach. That's where she was. Where else can she go? There's another beach over here. That's a camp. Um, These are residential places. So, I don't know. Is there any place she can get food here? Get your evil mermaid on the grill. Oh, get your evil mermaid on, girl. Oh, <laughs> she said on the grill. <laughs> um, yeah, she has attractive traits. Yeah, like she has attraction traits. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So let's go to another world, y'all. I don't know what to do. Let's go to. Where are their single sims at? Not Mount Car Mount Karebi. Karebi. If she meets everybody and doesn't like anybody, is there anybody in Glimmerbrook she might like? We go to Forgotten Hollow. Can you even go to Forgotten Hollow? You can't even go here. So she's never going to meet any of those people. Um, I guess we let's go to the city. Let's go to the city. Let's go to, what is this place? Karaoke bar. Why not? We might go- we might try going to Glimmerbrook, too. <laughs> Not Vlad. She probably would love Vlad if she met him. Alright, come on. Let's get in here. Oh, there's a guy in Strangerville that has long locks? Oh my gosh. Why is it taking so long to load? Okay, here we are. Okay, here's somebody. Oh, Akira. Somebody, didn't somebody just talk about him? Did she already meet him? Why is she wearing her swimsuit still? Oh my god, she's still wearing her swimsuit. Uh, um, unattractive! Unattractive. I don't know what is wrong with her. She needs to put, hold on, you gotta put on your clothes. You are, it, it's not... Oh, no. Outfits. Change outfit. Please, put on your clothes. <laughs> she doesn't- it's because he has a beard, I think. We're never gonna find anybody, y'all. I'm really worried about this. Let's scope the surroundings. Her boobs. Oh. 
Who do you like? Who do you like? Anybody? She hasn't noticed anybody interesting. Wow. And once again, we don't have a bartender, so... I don't understand why. So she can't get food here. She's a bit of a hater. You haven't missed anything except for our sim turning down every man in town. Who's this? Who's coming up the way? Uh, she met him already. Okay. Let's see. Who's that dude? Wait. That's a teen. That's a statue. <laughs> statue dude. Um, I'm getting worried that we're not going to have much of a legacy because she's way too picky here, y'all. She's just always on her phone. That's all she's doing. And I'm pretty sure she met him. And I'm pretty sure he's married anyway. Maybe she likes long-haired aliens. I don't think so. Okay, she doesn't know this person. Meet him. She needs to get drunk and have a random hookup. Aw, thank you so much for the raid, Lady MP. That statue's probably the best bet right now. Okay, hold on. Let's see how she feels about this guy. Wait, who is this? Unattractive! Unattractive! She thinks every guy she meets is unattractive. I don't know. Oh my god. Who's that? Who's that walking all snobby? Is that a celebrity or something? Diego Lobo? She's not gonna like him, I already know. <laughs> uh, God, y'all, I don't know what to do. You know what? Okay, we're gonna do a dating app. We're gonna do an online dating. Hold on, let her meet this guy. But I'm pretty sure he's married, isn't he? We're gonna have to do a dating club, because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> the basic looking is the best she can get. Hello. Let's see. Basic looking. Oh my god. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to... Uh, social things. We're gonna join a club. We're gonna start a club. We're going to call this the Singles Club. And I'm going to put only guys in here. So the requirements is they have to be either an adult or young adult. And they have to be unmarried. That's it. Okay. And she is going to... What, was he a teen? Oh, no, you're talking about somebody else. Alright, so people she has not met. She hasn't met Jay Huntington. She hasn't met Michael Bell. She hasn't met Mitchell Kalan. She might like, she might like Mitchell. No, he's not clean shaven. None of these guys really meet. Simeon Silver Sweater. She, he, she might like him. She has met Travis Scott. So those are the only ones she hasn't met that meet the criteria. So if she can't find somebody from one of those, I don't know what to do. He can always shave. Yeah, that's true. All right. Let's start club hangout. General venues. Um, let's say bars. Any bar. Okay. And there we go. Club activities. Come on. They're going to be friendly. To other members of the singles club. Which I just realized. I s singles club. They're going to be. Come on. Be. Romantic. To other members of the singles club. And that's all I'm doing. Friendly and romantic. Oh and we'll do. Because uh, I mean once she meets. We're, we don't really need this club for longevity. We just need it for her to meet these guys. Um, we'll do date. We'll do uh, drink bar drinks, and then yeah, we'll do uh, dance. That'll be. Will that be under art and music? Dance. 
drink, dance, be friendly and romantic. And I guess we'll do be funny too. Why not? We'll give them another, we'll give them another social thing to do. So be funny to other members of the singles club. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to start a gathering. Gather at bar. All right. Let's see. Let's do this. I gotta ask me anything. How can I uninstall CC that I installed with package files through clean installer in The Sims 2? Can't find it in the downloads folder. I mean, it's gonna be in your downloads folder. It'll just be a bunch. Of, usually it's a bunch of like long letters and numbers. Just like a jumbled l a bunch of letters and numbers in your downloads folder is how it usually shows up. I know she doesn't have the money for drinks, but all we're trying to do is get her to meet these dudes. Okay, so she's automatically met all of them. So does that mean we can just now go into their profiles? Basic looking. Okay. Unattractive. All right. Um, basic looking. Unattractive. Okay. Um, I don't know what else to do then. She hates every eligible man in the game so what do we do at this point what do we do we're gonna have to we're gonna have to i don't know i don't know what do you give me some suggestions what do you guys want to do go for basic yeah i think it's the so it's she's got too many preferences I guess we have to re-roll her preferences. Okay. I don't know what else we can do. Because her... She's got to... So, we're, here's how we're going to do this for the story purposes. Okay? She has realized after meeting every single man on Earth in her that exists in her world and not liking any of them, that she's going to have to change her preferences or she's going to be alone forever. So, <laughs> she's going to change... Uh, let, let me just double check. Let me just double check in the club. But I think that's everybody. Oh! Don Lothario. There's Don Lothario. Oh my god, if she likes Don, I swear. He's not clean shaven, though. Okay, let's see how she feels about him. Ah, it doesn't say yet. Okay, hold on. I'm going to end gathering and start gathering again. And hopefully he'll show up here now. Um, oh, and it's happy hour. Does that mean we actually have a bartender? We do. She can go get some food. Um, order food. Let's go get... She can't afford much. Let's go get a meat and cheese platter while she's here. Oh, there's Dawn. This is new Dawn that I do not care for. And let's see if she has a... No, she does not have a preference for him yet. Okay, she's... She could have got free chips, but... Oh my gosh, where are we going? Eat! Oh, she is eating. She's eating away at the bar here. And has she met... Oh, she hasn't met him. Friendly introduction. Hey, Jesse Wolf. She's debating on Dawn. She hasn't decided yet how she feels about him. Marcus Flex is calling. Dina Caliente has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? No! I'm saving you in my back pocket for later. Don't go out with Dina. <laughs> is she gonna talk with this with the evil merman? Talk with the evil merman. I swear, if this is the man she likes, nope, basic looking. Has she talked to Dawn yet? Okay, let's talk to him. Um, bright and day or something, I guess. Has she met that guy? Yeah, she's met everybody. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um... Basic looking. Okay, something's got to change, honey. Something's got to change. There are so many eligible men here and you don't like any of them. All right, what we're going to do is go into her um, attractiveness. We're going to... What happens if we develop her preferences? All of the attractiveness preferences are developed based on the best development method for each sim. I don't know what that means. 
based on pick sims, based on sims' own attractive traits. Um, let's do the most common attractive traits and see what happens. Um, light mode? Let's do light mode. Okay, let's see what happens. Unattract- so now she finds Dawn unattractive, so it did change. Oh! She likes the evil merman! <laughs> she likes the evil merman! Okay, let's- let's see- let's look at everybody else before we choose. Basic looking. Unattractive. Hold on, we're gonna see- uh, we're gonna see who all she likes. Basic looking. Basic looking. Base so far she only likes the evil merman. Are we gonna have a mermaid? We're gonna have an evil merman legacy? Unattractive. I think that was a teen, wasn't it? No, I guess not. Basic looking. Unattractive. Wow, seriously. Unattractive. Oh my god. Basic looking. He's gotta be the one. Basic. Oh! She also likes Paka, Paka, Paka. That's what I'm gonna call Paka. Um, she likes Paka, and she likes she likes Paka and the Merman. What does that mean? Wait, did we look at Knox? Unattractive. She likes the Sulani mid. Thank you so much, Light and Frost, for the 38 month Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Okay, hold on. I will let- we're gonna see who all she likes and I'm gonna let you guys vote. Okay. So she likes Merman, Paka. So far that's it. So far that is it. Uh, he's married. Marcus Flex. Base- she still thinks Marcus is basic. She likes Travis Scott! She likes Travis Scott now! Travis Scott, unattractive. She still never met Joaquin. Why wasn't he in the club? And she likes Sergio. She likes Travis, Sergio. That's great. Let's invite them all. Yes. Let's invite them all. All right. Travis, Sergio, Evil Merman, and Paca. Those are the ones she likes. Bachelorette challenge right now. We're doing it. Hold on. Let's change the members. You get you're getting getting kicked out. Wait, can I can I edit this? You're out, Don. All of you are out. All of you are out. We're adding. Let's see. It sucks when they don't. Okay, you. You. They don't show up. Why don't they show up? Um, let's go to... Is there an acquaintances? Acquaintances, okay. Uh, there's Travis Scott. And Sergio. Awesome! Okay, these are the four guys that she likes. They were there? Oh. Travis was in the same row as Evil Merman. Oh, I didn't see him. I just washed right over Travis. Okay, anyway, I've got them all. So, let's do that, and then let's start a gathering now. Okay. All the rest of you, you're out. Now, let's see who she ends up flirting with. Let's let her choose. <laughs> let's see what happens. She knows, like, every dude. There's Travis coming in. Uh, here comes Sergio. Here, the evil merman is here. Where's Paka? I don't know. They're just dancing to this music. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna move myself right now, because that's how I have it set up. But I will move myself whenever I show you my- show you the relationships, yeah. Um, as for needs, though, right now, she just needs to go to the bathroom. Okay, is she talking to these dudes, or what? She's 
just dancing. Stop dancing. Stop dancing and start talking. <laughs> she has a preference for semen. <laughs> okay, talk to somebody. Don't just dance. Talk. Oh, here's Paka. Okay, she's just standing there. This is so awkward. She's like, I can't do anything else but dance. Um, stop dancing! Stop that! Talk, talk, talk to these people! <laughs> She's, uh, still not talking. I just have to keep stopping her from drinking. Please talk to somebody! Talk to Sergio! Choose one! She's not choosing anybody. Yeah, somebody turned the music off. Where's- Oh, you can't turn it off, I don't think. Um, she is gonna sit down at the bar now. She's gonna- Is she ordering- Uh, she's waiting for a drink. <laughs> Keep stopping her from drinking, yeah. But, so- these two are talking to each other, but she's not talking to them. Get your drink and go talk. Right, what are you gonna do? You gonna sit here? Okay, sit. Sit. Do, 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 do. She can't decide. Talk! You're. S she's not talking to any of them. It's kind of sad. She's really gotta go to the bathroom, y'all. Uh, she's gonna have to go down to the public bathroom. Where is it? Wasn't it around here? Oh, it's right there. Oh, no, that's in another lot. Okay. Is there a bathroom? Oh, it's right there. Go use the bathroom. She was already going, and I canceled it. <laughs> Vote in the poll, Nathan put up everybody. Wow, she's really gotta go. She's doing the pee-pee walk. I guess I'm gonna have to take dancing off of the list of things that they do, because they just keep dancing. I'm gonna take dancing off for now. So maybe that'll put it into the incessant dancing. Okay, now she feels confident. She wants to complete a work task. We're not working tonight, okay? <laughs> uh, Pleasant View's coming uh, really well. Thank you, K James. She come back, come back here. She's washing her hands. Come back, get over here. Oh, she's going to talk to the, mer the merman. She's going to talk to the merman, finally. Oh! Oh my god! Travis just tried to kiss him! Did you guys just see that? <laughs> Travis just tried to kiss the merman. And he was like, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. Travis, I'm so sorry. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, they're chatting, so this is something. Oh, they're hugging. Okay. We're gonna have the evil- the, yeah, It's the evil merman. I think it's gonna be- Oh, no! He just turned her down for something. Oh! <gasps> oh, this is bad! This is bad! <laughs> okay. That's, uh, he tried to kiss her, and she pushed him away. She tried to kiss him, he pushed her away. Okay, this is getting weird. This is getting really weird, y'all. I don't know. No, Travis, what is happening? <laughs> they just keep trying to interact with each other? I don't. She's going to get order another drink. She's like, I need another drink. Oh! Oh. Oh. I don't know. I think Travis and the merman have got something going on here. <laughs> the club activity is romance, but I didn't think they would be romantic towards Sims that they didn't like if you if the sim is straight, I don't think they should be romantic towards the same sex. Our sim is right here. She was getting- she was down in a drink there. Um, this is just so sad. I just can't even watch this anymore. Okay, I'm gonna- <laughs> I can't! 
I can't. It's so, it's so bad. I, well, you know what? She flirted with him. So who do you guys want to, okay, you guys want to go with the evil merman. So let's end this very awkward gathering. It's very awkward. Okay. Uh, she did flirt with him though. So we're going to go with him. Let's, why do, I don't want to insult him. Help fix bad relationship with Travis Scott. Yes. Oh, no, they're all leaving. Okay, she's going home, y'all. She's going to go home. Or actually, she's going to eat some more of her meat and cheese tray. Because she's hungry. Um, she's going to eat some more of her meat and cheese tray. And she's tired, too. I will, you know what? I will move myself over here. Because I feel bad because you guys can't see the... But see, this I didn't think about that because I have my little sub thing set up right here. But I'll move right here so you guys can see her. Uh, she's tired. Okay, so we're... No, don't go watch. We're going to go home. At least we made a little bit of progress on the romance front there. She met somebody. So does that mean... What does that mean for him? He's can, can he go live in the city with her? Like, I don't think that makes any sense. Oh, 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 I should have put it in her inventory. You're right. Oh, crap. Too late. Dang it. I I guess so, Wesley. I didn't think it would. So, Wesley said, does the romantic action make the Sims be romantic towards everyone in the club regardless of their sexuality? If so, that would be lame. I didn't think so, but apparently it does. That makes no sense. That's going to ruin my singles club. I need to find out if there's any kind of mod or anything I can do for that. Okay, she's back home, y'all, and she's tired. She does have to go to work tomorrow. She spent all night trying to find a man. But I'm worried about the, uh, like, what are the implications of her marrying a merman? Doesn't he need to be near the water? Like, he can't move into the legacy lot with her, can he? Does he have to be near the water? Is he going to be unhappy? Like, I don't know. We could get him a pool. <laughs> That's true. I want her to marry him, though, because she needs the extra income. <laughs> needs to give him a bathtub. <laughs> uh, work starts for an hour. Yes, she's going to go to work. Okay, you need to get up and get ready for work. She's hungry. She's going to have to eat at work. She has no food and no money. Um, there's really nothing I can do for you, Esther. Oh, she's uncomfortable. Oh, but I bought you. I bought your. I bought them for you. She needs to go to the bathroom, I guess. No, I don't have the simulation lag fix because I haven't really had any problems with it. Uh, lately. Let me visit my husband in our outdoor pool. I know. Why do I have it on speed one? Okay, she used a tampon and a menstrual pad at work, so she's good. I just feel kind of bad about moving in a- making him move away from his pa paradise to here. Uh, Esther's running out of newspapers to deliver, so I'm gonna roll for this. Random.org, 1 through 50. And see which one we're gonna choose. Go, 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 random.org. And I rolled a 55, so we're going to do steal more papers. And she got a small performance gain. She is really upset. She's on her period, y'all, and she's really, uh... Oh, she could go to GeekCon. She could go to the festival and see if she meets anybody. Well, I guess she doesn't need to meet anybody else. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go with the evil mermaid. I feel like it's just not going to fit into her lifestyle. She's angry. She's upset on her period, yes. Oh, she got a promotion! Awesome! Oh, she has money in her bank account, too. I forgot. <coughs> okay, now she is... Wait, I didn't even read that. She is a story researcher now. She works from 10 to 5. Um, She's off today, though. So, that's good. Go use your bush. Go take an angry poop in the bush. That's what you need to do. Oh. Okay. 
she's getting asked to go to the geek thing, so let's go. Under the sea. Sergio hates kids, yeah, so he's out. I kind of like Travis for her. I kind of like Travis for her. He's more like, I feel like he would fit in more to her lifestyle. Okay, but this guy um, just asked her to go out. So she needs to go to the bathroom, though, and she's angry. And she also wants to order food from a market stall. Okay, GeekCon has begun, but she's got to go. Excuse me, I'm trying to go to the toilet here. The toilet. So she's supposed to be participating in a contest, I guess. So let's go do that. Um, what con What's the contest? Is it the... Whatever this is? Yeah. I'm trying... What is she supposed to do? I don't even... I don't understand! I thought they could work on these things. Oh, participate in hackathon. There we go. There. This is not her thing at all, but I guess she's going to do it. Is this considered a contest? <laughs> What's her lifestyle? She lives in a shack? Yeah, but she lives... She's like in the celebrity world. Which I guess an evil merman would fit in, I guess. Probably make her very popular. <laughs> is this considered a contest or is this a something else? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the merman, I guess, definitely would be more interesting. She should meet Joaquin. I agree. Before we decide, let's see if she wants to meet Joaquin. And how did she feel about... What's his name there that asked her out? Unattractive. Travis does make cute babies, yeah. Leah's gonna be pissed. It would be so crazy if Joaquin was our was the beginning our founder's mate in both of them. Alright, come on, hurry up. This is taking forever. She's gotta go get some food. Get out of the way! Um, she's listening to music while she does it. Go! Listening to music is making it take too long. Also, I need to keep my eye out for other guys she hasn't met. Not Jeffrey Landgrab. There's Dirk Dreamer. <laughs> Let's, uh, we could attempt to introduce ourselves to him. Let's attempt it. Okay, she did participate in the contest. Let's go talk to Dirk the- Oh, no, he's doing something else. Okay. Uh, she's met him. She's met him. That's Judith Ward. She's met him. Okay. It's getting crowded over here, y'all. Let's go- Let's go get her some food. Wait, why are the stalls not open? That sucks. She wanted to get food from one of them. That really sucks. Um, okay, great. I'm just also looking around to see if there's anybody else she hasn't met. I would feel kind of bad if she broke up a marriage. Alright, go talk to him now. Attempt introduction. I don't like this Dirk Dreamer, so... Not crazy about it. Uh, no, NPCC is not installed right now, no. No food for you. Did she introduce herself to him? Okay, let's see. Basic looking. She Okay, she's got to go somewhere where she can get some food, y'all. We're done with this. We're done with this. Ah, uh, social event is, event is active. Can we go get some food in the bar? No, because there's no bartender either. There are no workers here. So she's just going to have to starve until we can leave. Uh, we can cancel it. Let's cancel it. All right. Now she's going to leave. We're getting out of here. Wow. Okay. Let's go to... Um, I don't know. Where can we get food? <clears throat> Let's go to the Blue Velvet. With none of these dudes. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, Windenburg. I should have gone to Windenburg. Okay, let's go to Windenburg. And we'll go to the nightclub over there. Because I think Joaquin shows up there a lot. Alright, never mind. Never mind this. Let's go to Windenburg. She's wearing her helmet again. I have not added a restaurant. I need to add a restaurant. Uh, to the save. So let's go to the nightclub. Over here. <laughs> Gotta have protection when you're on the prowl. That's right. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna see if Joaquin shows up here. Um, I do not have Carl's Dine Out Fix mod. No, I do not. I assume I need to get it. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, there he is! There he is! Okay, let's meet him. Let's meet him. Don't mind me and my helmet. Look at what he's wearing, so you know. <laughs> dag dag. Okay, let's see. What does she think? What does she think? Basic looking. Basic looking. Okay. Can you get some food? She's gonna go grab some chips. Go grab some chips. Or you can stop talking to him. He's not worth our time now. She's gonna go get some chips. She needs a shower, too. I guess we'll have to go back to the gym. And then I guess... I don't know what to do. Maybe we could just start inviting the guys over to her house one by one. And seeing which one she gets along with the best. I don't know. Or we could just go with the, the mermaid guy. Because uh, technically, he's who she chose. Alright, get your chips. Get your chips, we'll go take a shower, and then we'll start talking to the evil merman. She's still- she's not feeling good right now. Okay, wait, is there anybody else? I think she's met everybody here. She's met all these dudes. Okay. We are going. Invite them to scare them off. <laughs> Woohoo, with each one, whoever gets her pregnant has to be the husband. <laughs> I kind of like that idea. Uh, Alright, she's going home. I don't know why I did- why did I do traveling? You don't need to do travel, just go home. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll go with the merman. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Um, in my Pleasant View and Sims 4 save, it, the Sims have their sexualities from Sim 2. Well, they're- they're just- they're the, like, they have the same partners and same attractions and stuff, but they could be anything because The Sims 4, like, I didn't, you know, if you, unless you use mods. If you use mods, then, yeah, they can be anything. I feel like I didn't explain that well. <laughs> Inviting them all at once to her shack. <laughs> we could woohoo them all. See who the baby daddy this seems that seems kind of mean. That seems kind of like using these poor guys, but you know, it's a legacy challenge. You got to do what you got to do. You got to be ruthless to get the next generation here. It's the love shack. Do do do. Love shack. Love shack. Love shack is the little old place where we can get together. Oh, she needs hygiene. Oh, does she have enough money for a shower? Let's see. Let's see. How much is a cheap shower? Um, three seventy-five. She's got two seventy-four. I think she has some money in her bank account, though. Hold on. She needs like a hundred and one simoleons. Let's check her bank account. Um, she has enough. Transfer from checking account to household funds amount to household funds. No, to no, no, that's wrong. Back transfer to from. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Transfer from checking account to her household funds. I'm just gonna do it all 118. 
Submit. Okay. Now she has enough to get a shower. So we're moving up in the world, y'all. We're mo Nope, don't do that. We're moving up in the world now. We're getting a shower. And we're going to put it right inside. Perfect. Now she can shower at home. She can poop in the bush and then clean off in her shower. <laughs> Indoor plumbing, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know why it has two driveways. Yeah, that's a good point. And, that, and some of them don't. It has three driveways and some of them don't even. It doesn't make sense at all. Okay, yeah, she's, oh, she's hurting. I'm sorry. Okay, let's call up your merman. We're gonna, oh, I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna call him up. Let's see, where is he? And let's invite to hang out at Current Life. And let's get, let's have a little one-on-one -on -one time with him. See how it goes. <laughs> no fridge. She has no food. She'll get that with her next, uh, because it's so easy to go out and get food in The Sims 4. She'll get that with her next check. Is he here? He's here. Say hello. He's just barefoot. He's just barefoot all the time. <laughs> no fridge till generation three. All right. What does she want to do? Um, share a Sims emotional burden. Let's see. Mm. Is that friendly? I don't even know what that. What is that even under? I don't even. How do you even do that? Use the share emotional burden. Oh, he's not in a. But he has to be in a bad mood. I see. Okay, we'll talk to him. Tell him an unbelievable story. <laughs> oh. This guy. I mean, he's kind of cute. I like him. <laughs> Something seems fishy here. <laughs> Can you guys hear the Sims? It's Friday. There's no better day to eat fish. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's. Where's she going? Getting in line. Wait. Hold up. What are you getting in line for? <laughs> I don't know where she's going. Yeah, I don't think he can move in yet. Like, I I don't know. I'm still really torn about moving a mermaid in, though. For a tiny man, he's got a large caboose. Oh, she's going to the bathroom? Oh, how did you replace your tampon out on the sidewalk? I don't. All right, go back home. I don't know what she just did there. Who's that? Wait, wait, wait. Who is that? Thorn somebody? Hold on. Thorn Bailey? Hold on. I know that I know that the other guy is over there, but I want to um Okay, never mind. Screw it. That's too much work. Just go. Just go. Um, uh, beef queef that tampon straight out. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's still waiting here for her. How nice. In the rain. Sorry, I had to go over there to the sidewalk and change my tampon. Hope you're still hanging out. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. And let's see. Um... Ask him if he wants children. Yeah, right away. Just let's get that out of the way. Oh, what? What? Let's find out. What did he say? Did she ask him? Hold on. Uh, who's calling? No, thank you. I don't want whatever the hell you're selling, scammer. I wanted to ask... 
Is it under friendly? Oh my god, there's so much. Where is it going to be going through the... <sighs> okay, she's going to sleep. Never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye. She's got to go to work in the morning. Just, um... Send home. Send home and go to bed. She's running like mad just to change her tampon on the sidewalk. I don't know. The conversation menus are overwhelming. I don't know where to look for stuff. Oh, he said no? Did he say no? No, I can't go to a crazy party. I gotta go to the work in the morning. You have to be married in seven days to get a lot of money. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, what the? Oh my God, we just had an earthquake. Oh, that sucked. Okay. And she's also starving to death. Go fertilize the bush. She got woken up by an earthquake. She has to go fertilize the bush. <laughs> and... You want to see more than eight interactions at once, honestly? She farted herself awake. That was one hell of a fart. And she's hungry. She's got to go get food, y'all. I, I don't know. We've got 17 simoleons. She's got to go somewhere. I'm afraid she's going to go somewhere. They're not going to be, uh... There's a, la there's a couple of lounges. Not a museum. Can she get food at the park? Let's go to the park. I don't know. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> uh. So she's gonna... There's a grill here. To, can she have enough money to grill anything? Anything? 88 simoleons to grill hot dogs? That's ridiculous. What the hell? There's no food trucks or anything? Ah. <sighs> Okay. Go to the lounge, I guess. You've slept through an earthquake? <laughs> okay, let's go to the lounge. And is there anybody here to feed her? No. There's nobody here. She's going to starve to death. Oh my god. Um... Okay, I have an idea. She can't get free chips if there's no bar bartender. I'll go to Willow Creek because I know that there's like, um, there's somewhere around here, there's like food trucks and stuff. Is, aren't there or didn't there used to be? I don't know. Go here. We've got to get her a fridge at her shack. Immediately. Get yourself some park meat. That's what she needs. Okay. Is there anybody here? There is a bartender here, though. So let's go in and get some. We're just going to the bar at 5 a.m. To... No. Why can I not... What? What? Oh, do I have to click on the bar? Oh, okay. No. What the heck? Why can't I do anything? Alright. She's starving. So... This is closed. This is what I was thinking of. This is closed. She can't get chips. What is she gonna do? Oh my god. Why can I not- Am I just not seeing it? More choices? Oh, here it is. Finally. It just wasn't showing up yet. Um... Can I not just get chips? Oh, grab chips. Okay. Please, I need some chips. I'm here at 5 a.m. and I just want chips. That's all I need. Give me some chips before I starve. She needs some merman meat. <laughs> okay, now she's better, but she's in a daze from her period. So, she also is afraid of um, earthquakes. So, she's got a little fear. Alright, that's good. Now go back home. 
go back home. Let's go get ready for work. She had to travel all the way to another city to get free chips for breakfast. Man, life is rough right now. <laughs> uh, there's Travis Scott just getting down at five o'clock in the morning. I don't know. I don't trust you if you're at the bar at six or six a.m. Now he was there at five though. <clears throat> Yeah, that did fill her hunger a lot. She's begging for chips at the local bar. It's sad, man. It's sad. She got 17 simoleons to her name and she lives in a shack. <laughs> at 5 a.m., yeah. Uh, so far, we haven't seen any wild foxes, so that's good. What time does she have to go to work? In four hours. That's plenty of time for her to do a little flirting with her merman. Let's invite him over. Is it too early? Is it too early to call him? What will he say? I don't know. Let's find out. You want to come back over? I know you were just here last night, but you want to come back over right away? He's sleeping. Oh, he's mad. He's sleeping. Sorry. Oops. My bad. Uh, complete a work task. Okay, write column. She needs to be working on her- Oh, she needs an art degree! <laughs> She's not gonna get very far in her degree- she, in her career. She needs an art degree. This may be it for her. <laughs> I don't know. I don't- I feel like this challenge is so much easier without mods. You know that? I feel like the legacy, random legacy challenge is hard to play with all my mods that I used to play for rotational play. I need to do a set of mods that are just for random legacy challenge. <laughs> she can work and study. It's going to be tough. Yeah, she'd have to take out a loan. Uh, right now, I'm not going to worry about that. Right now, we've got to find her a partner. Then she can focus on her career, possibly. Aw, oh, thank you so much, yes, Kenzie, for the six-month resub. Thank you so much. <clears throat> you play it on console and it's too easy? Well, she's just hanging out now. Wait, maybe he's awake now. It's 7.14. I don't know. I should give him... I should wait till 8 a.m., I think. I think I should wait till 8. Because he's going to start getting mad if she just calls him every hour, starting at 6 a.m. Like, hey, you want to come over? Hey, you want to come over? <laughs> you like the college system in The Sims 4 the most because of the freedom and the different exam types? Yeah. I haven't played it a ton. We could have a single sci single parent science baby if we had to. Yes, my internet appears to be working today. Thank goodness. I hope it holds up for the weekend. Remember The Sims 2 on the Nokia? Like, you mean the, like, the mobile one? Okay, it's 8 a.m. Let's call him back. Let's call him back. Come on over, merman. The, you're the merman of my dreams. I never played the mobile one, but I do remember it being a thing. Yeah, getting Leah through college was rough. Okay, he's coming over. Do your best. Impress him. Oh, she's already going to greet him. All right, she's going to chat with him. Okay. She's starving for his marlin. She's out for his trout. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. Get that cat. That was hilarious. She's out for his trout. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what are you doing? Talk. Get off your phone and chat with him. He's flirty, too. Ooh, he's flirty. Let's, uh, hug him? Give him a hug. Aw, sentiment. Ah, crap, she's gotta go to work. Okay, she's gonna go to work. We're just gonna take this opportunity to... Ask to be woohoo partners. Okay, let's do it. Ask to be woohoo partners. They just became good friends, too. What did he say? Wait, what did that say? 
She learned his woohoo interests. Oh, she also just uh, scared him. Don't be a jerk, Esther. Uh. Oh! Oh my gosh! They just kissed, and she then she scared him, but he loved it. <laughs> my bush stinks, but you want a woohoo? <laughs> Wow, these two are getting along really well. He's definitely the one for her, I think. He's definitely the one. You got your ball of clay there? What are you doing with that, buddy? Yeah, because he's evil. Alright, well, she she can look past his flaws. What are you- what's that about? What is she- what's happening? I don't know what that was. Uh, she has a new woohoo partner. <laughs> Aww. She's gotta go to work now, though. Bye, sorry, gotta go to work. Well, he's the one, y'all. This is our- this is our legacy daddy. Our legacy founder daddy. Wait, no, not- not her- not her daddy. <laughs> he's just gonna hang out, that's cool. I'll just sit here and watch him. He's kind of cute. I like him. He was showing her his balls. He was. His big brown balls. <laughs> the evil merman that will spawn our legacy. Yes. Yes, he shall. Alright, she's going to work. So, I and I meant to... Oh, the critic's code. Ooh, she will either gain fame or she will be fired. Or it will continue unchanged. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go 50-50 on this. I gotta go back to random.org. Who is calling her? Um, I'm gonna roll 1 to 100. I rolled a 16, so we're gonna sneak in a code. Oh my god, please don't say she's gonna get fired. Oh, she didn't get fired! She got the positive one! She started down the path to stardom! She got 31 simoleons. She got a little bit more than that. Okay. Oh, no, she was fired. Oh, crap. She got fired and she got fame. I thought it was one or the other. Oh, no. Oh, it was both. She got fired. <clears throat> um, that sucks. She'll just have to try to get her job back. This will give her more time to focus on the merman, but she only has 24 simoleons, so. Also, the welcome wagon is here. Okay, cool. Is that a fox? Or is that a cat or something? I don't know what that is. Wow. Okay, um, invite your neighbor in, I guess. Say hello to your neighbor. I think that's a fox. Just running around. Wow. Hello. Uh, he's still here. Kiss his hands. Kiss his hands. Did she bring fruit cake? I don't even see any fruit cake. Fruit cake. Um, shoo, shoo this thing away. You need a counter, yeah. You gonna shoo away the fox? Bye, bye, get out. Why is she in a daze? I don't know what that is. Oh, hello. She doesn't even have a bed for them to woohoo on. Um, she really needs to get her job back, y'all. I'm gonna- I'm gonna have her call back and see if she can get her job back. Is she gonna have to start over at level one? Oh, they could woohoo in the stink bu- in the stank bush. Woohooing in the stank bush. Okay, we're going back to Critic. Please give me my job back. Okay, yeah, she had to start all over at the bottom. So basically, she got demoted. Sure, she'll accept the assignment. Whatever. Um, she is super hungry. She's developed a fear of commitment! What? Oh, great! What just happened? Thank you so much, Elizabeth! A Elizabeth Seth, 1996, thank you so much. He just- her just randomly cleaning the shower. <laughs> he just cheated? Oh my god.
god. He just cheated with her? <sighs> wow. Wow. This probably hasn't been helped by her cheating on them and it's going to make Esther wary of committed relationships. Damn it! That's going to make things so much harder. Is she heartbroken now? Great! He ruined it! Yep. Well, he's out. He's out. He is out. End woohoo partnership. Um. That sucks. Get out of here. And you too. Get out. Welcome wagon's over. Everybody get out. No, not maybe next time. Go away. Okay, they're still chatting. They're discussing local fishing spots. It's a very awkward encounter. I don't understand. Would you go? Uh, let's apologize. Maybe she could. Maybe she could make it better. I mean, you shouldn't have to apologize that he hugged that girl. But okay. All right. I don't know. I think it's. Uh, I think you gotta go. I think you gotta go. Bye. Bye! Why is he not leaving? This is my question. Why is he not leaving? She ended the partnership without ever having woohooed him. Okay, she's gotta go somewhere and get food. I don't know what his deal is. He's just, he's not leaving. Uh, let's go, we'll go back over to this lounge over here, I guess. Grill him! Grill him! They were Woohoo Partner exclusive. I don't know exactly what level of exclusivity that technically is. They were fixing their relationship? Well, there's no- no worker ever shows up here. I don't know why I keep going here. Okay. Let's leave. Uh, let's try this one. I, but I guess it was enough for her to, like, be upset that he hugged somebody else, so I don't know. She got very upset by that. And there's nobody working here either. How strange. Are there any, like, little food stalls or anything around? She needs food, and she needs it badly. I guess we're going back to Willow Creek, where we know somebody will be working. Alright, back to Willow Creek. I gotta figure out why that's happening. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Vigilanton, for the 16 months at Tier 1. Thank you. You just came back from England? Oh, awesome. Okay, we're going back to the Velvet Nightclub so she can eat some chips and continue on her hunt for a man. Jeez. I think we should just go with Marcus Flex or Paolo. And then just, because those were the first guys that she flirted with. Uh, the dogs are doing great, Kitty. Thanks for asking. They're doing wonderful. Wonderfully. Okay, back over here. Get your chips. I think we have to wait a minute or something before you can ask for chips. Back to the club. No, I'm trying to get chips. Why can I not? Oh, there we go. Grab chips. No, she doesn't like Marcus or... Um, what's his name now? Basic looking. And basic looking. But she, it looks like she still is, she does, she did fix things with, with our merman. Maybe they can work it out. Maybe they can work it out. Let's, uh, yeah, she's got a lot of shit going on right now. Okay, she got her chips. You know what? Let's get some more, get some more chips. Get one more chips. Let's just fill up. Why do I keep clicking on him? That does not work. Uh... Grab chips again. 
It was red, so they did fix it. They fixed it. They were talking whenever I had her leave and I wasn't paying attention. So I'm gonna let her just fill up on chips then we're gonna go back home and call him back over and see. Maybe they can work things out. One of your first Sims 4 Sims got his little ass clapped by Marcus. <laughs> yeah, she is jealous he hugged another girl instead of having a woohoo in the stank bush. Why am I doing why am I doing that? That's exactly what she's jealous of. I mean he only hugged her too. It wasn't that bad. And they hadn't even woohooed yet. She's getting way too jealous, I think. Wow, why is it all laggy all of a sudden? It just got super laggy for me. <laughs> she wants some trout in her stank bush. I think she does. <laughs> he gave her a flower too. Oh, I didn't see that. Alright, we're going back home. We're going to try again with our evil merman. Oh yeah, clear the notifications. That's a good point. I'll do that in a second. As soon as we get back over here. Yeah, first she's picky about who she wants. Then she gets super jealous over the dumbest things. Okay, let's call him back. Uh, she got her job back too, thankfully. So, um, invite to hang out at Current Lot again. <laughs> Your marriage really Come on over. And see me again. Okay, he'll be right over. <laughs> I could create a woohoo club, but I'd rather I'd rather them go about it a little bit more naturally. There's our wild foxes again. Um, uh, okay. Whisper to seductively. Why are you very sad? Oh, cause she got fired. And jealousy. Wow. She's super sad. She's not- Oh, now she's flirty. Okay, so now the flirty overtakes it. Alright. He made her feel better when he came over. Ask about love life. Ask if he wants children. See if that works. You want a baby? Uh, I don't think I want kids at the moment. Well, too bad, buddy, because you're getting them. <laughs> Maybe he'll change his mind. <laughs> yeah, the relationship's going up super fast. Yeah, it is. Oh, she just gave him a flower. <laughs> she got her charisma level up. Yeah, we've chosen you as our founding father, so you are going to have children. <laughs> but she's got to go back to work because she needs money for a bed and a fridge really badly. She wants to make another Sim happy. Um, blow him a kiss? Oh, he's trying to kiss her under the mistletoe. <laughs> and she wants to take a cold shower. No, don't take a cold shower. Uh, kiss neck? A steamy exchange. Uh, can they, they can't woohoo in the bush? Attempt to seduce? <laughs> yeah, she got the same job again, but she had to start at the bottom. What, what is that move? What does she want to do? She wants to kiss him. Um, attempt mistletoe kiss? Will that count? His neck salty from being in the sea. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a kid. Oh yeah, I guess it did. <laughs> oh wow, that's so interesting, Nico Neko. Nico 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 says I started a rotational game with your pleasant view. Nina got knocked up by Brandon Lillard. When then she got a whim to ask him to be her boyfriend. And after that after then after they did that, her non-committal trait changed to committed. It was one of the first times something natural chain of events like that really happened to me in The Sims 4. That's awesome! 
Oh my god, what just happened? She just got a quirk? Just because Esther is famous, everyone seems to think that Esther's alright with having her personal space invaded. She'll now become tense when Sims who aren't her family members or those that she isn't in a committed relationship with make physical contact with her. Okay. She doesn't like being touched. I get that. I don't either. Hello, Pippa. Um, she is super flirty. Can they not woohoo in this bush? Is that not the right woohoo bush? She does need to fertilize it. She's afraid of commitment and touching because of everything that's happened. She's so dramatic, I know. Oh, her trait her trait changed to loyal. That's so cool. I didn't even know that could happen. Nico, I didn't know that could happen. Oh, they need a first kiss. Okay. Um oh she can ask to be boyfriend. Hold on. We're gonna do physical intimacy, first kiss. Come on, we're about to lock this down, buddy. Oh, thank you so much, Thomas McNabb, for the Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Six months of Prime sub. Thank you. Okay, so they had a first kiss. And now she's going to... Oh, ask to be boyfriend. We're locking him down, the merman! <laughs> Wait, what happened? Did you ask him? I don't think she asked him. Hold on, hold on. Romance. Oh, she did she? What happened? Oh, did I just miss that whole exchange when I was reading the chat? Okay, cool. Oh, I gotta save games. Thank you. I will save game, Misha. Uh, I tried to go down in the corner like I do. Like, I'm so used to doing it in Sims 2. Oh, and I gotta hydrate for Kiwi five minutes ago. Let me hydrate. I'm just gonna call him... I'm just going to call him Merman because I cannot pronounce his name. <laughs> he whipped out fruitcake and she went on her phone. It's great. It's a match made in heaven. Uh, okay, so now they are together. And now they can woohoo. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I want to make them woohoo. What does she want to do? Make another Sim happy? I mean, it would make him happy. I think I'm going to unpin the pet thing. Because uh, it's going to be a long time. Okay, well, sh let's woohoo and bush before we propose. Come on, we gotta at least woohoo once. Thank bush time. He's her pet fish. Let's go. Oh, he used a condom. He used a condom because he doesn't want to have kids. We need a risky woohoo. Get out of here, fox. Get out of here! The fox is like, what's going on over there in that bush? Hello, the other flow. This is the nastiest woohoo ever and not in a fun way. <laughs> yes, I do have university. The fox! Oh my god. Poor fox. I like the fox. I don't mind the fox being here. Wow! Woohoo! She acquired the woohoo skill. <laughs> That's a poo-hoo! <laughs> Marius! That's a poo-hoo! That's disgusting. Oh, uh, Let's adopt the fox. Can we pet the fox? Can we give it a gift? I can give it a gift, but I don't have any gifts to give it. We can watch it. Hello! She's watching him, I guess. Hi, Sophie Sims. Oh, he's self-assured. We learned a trait about him. He's self-assured. What does she want to do? Explain about cheating former partners. Okay, she wants to talk about her cheating exes. So how do we do that? Is that under flirt? I hope it's not under flirtation. Um, What's it under? It's not physical intimacy. Explain about cheating former partners. She wants to talk about her exes. Oh no, he's leaving. He's like, oh no, I can't. I gotta go. <laughs> she's gotta go to bed. She like started talking about her exes and she's like, he's like, yeah, I think I want to go. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Go get, what? Okay, that was weird. Go tell, go, go teleport to bed, I suppose. <laughs> he's kind of a douche, yeah, but. You know what? You like what you like. The heart wants what the heart wants, and she wants the evil douchebag merman, okay? 
What X's? I don't know. Oh god, it's another earthquake! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, she's she's laughing and happy. Okay, go back to sleep. It was fine. Go back to sleep. She wants to talk about him with him. That's what I got from it, Hendrick. She wants to talk about him. She's like, hey, remember when you hugged that girl? Because I do. <laughs> she wants to chat with him again. Um, convince a sim to support nap and become focused. All right, she is hungry again. So she's got to take her early morning run over to, to I started to say Pleasant View, over to a Willow Creek to get her early morning chips. All right, she's got to go get those chips. That woohoo was an 8 on the Richter scale. That's right, 20 bits. <laughs> Imagine them woohooing during the earthquake. That'd be crazy. Alright, come on. Get over here. Get yourself some chips. I kept ch I kept clicking on him and like I was wondering why I couldn't order chips because you have to click on the bar, Cindy. She also wants to have a drink. I don't... Oh, look. Who is this? Is that Bella Goth pregnant? She is! She's about to pop! What are you doing at the bar this early? <laughs> I would get- I would get jealous if my man hugged a, r a random woman too. But they weren't technically exclusive then. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Order a drink? I mean, it's kind of early in the morning for that, but okay. Uh, yeah, have yourself a water. There you go. That Does that count? Water's free. She can get water and chips. She needs some chips after that fish. Get yourself a nice glass of water. There you go. Seawater, please. <laughs> Hello, Bob Pancakes. How are you? Coming to the bar? Life must not be too great if you're at the bar at 3.42 a.m. Oh, it's only 3.40 in the bar? I thought it was like 6 o'clock. Oh, my God. All right, get some more chips. Um, she lives- this is not a healthy diet that she has at all. She is living on nothing but free bar chips. That's all she eats. It's not good. It's not good at all. Hoping that's Mortimer's baby if she's at the club that early in the morning. I hope so. Jib jab, give me some more chips. She needs some tequila for those chips. I didn't realize it was so late or I would have let her order a drink, but now she's going to go. Hello, Bella. Wonder who the father of that baby is. Surely it's Mortimer. <laughs> Bar chips. The breakfast of champs. Okay, it's time to go home now. We're full of chips. We're leaving. Go into the bar and getting chips and water. That's how she lives right now. She got fired from her job and she lives in a shack. And she's sleeping with an evil merman. That's life. That's life for you. Who can relate? <laughs> Bella's sus, I know. <laughs> yeah, my salt intake is perfectly full. She definitely, she's her sodium is too high. She's got a problem with sodium. Her, her sodium's too high. She's gonna have high blood pressure. Okay, so she's going home now. And she's gotta get ready for work. I think she's gotta go to work at like 6 a.m. Uh, hello, Simmer Girl. I'm doing great. How are you? Okay, she's gotta go use the turlet. She's gotta go fertilize that bush. I love the cranberries, yeah. Although after Dolores died, it took me a long time before I could listen to him again because I was, like, so sad and disturbed by, um, how she died. I, I absolutely love the cranberries. <clears throat> you can check new pregnancies checking neighborhood stories on the mailbox. I, I would rather just, like, run across them in the wild. <laughs> Uh, we're going to work today. <laughs> she needs to write an article about how you can get free chips at, at the Willow Creek. Will the Willow Creek free chips are the best. So she doesn't really have time to do anything else this morning. She's just going to play on her phone for a little bit until she's got to go to work. Oh, yeah. Finding out who died. Yeah, that's a good point, Shoujo. 
that I do I do see that. Let's see. Check recent neighborhood stories. Let's see if anybody died. The Bell household currently moved in. That's it. That's all we had. I'm going to speed things up. Oh, she's trying to take a shower real quick before work. All right, she's got to go to work. Um, Esther's off to work. <laughs> oh, hey, Punsy Press Play. Thank you for following. I'm not playing Pleasant View now. <laughs> playing Random Legacy Challenge, but glad you're here. Thank you. And, yeah, so she's off to work. She's still sad from getting fired before. And eating too many quick meals or desserts, she's unbalanced because she's living on chips. Uh, let's see what she's doing at work. She is... Oops. She's just working normal, but I'm going to have her research stories. Oh, well, she's back home now. Never mind. And I got to see who's calling. He's calling her. Esther, I need to challenge myself. I a new job might be the solution. What do you think? I'm going to say you should follow your heart. I want to be supportive. I'm going to be supportive. Um, okay, she also wants to, she wants to become disliked by Vanessa. She hates Vanessa. Vanessa hugged her man and she does not like it. Uh, yes, this mod does have all the Sims 4 mods for my website, yes. On my website list, except for NPCC. I had to take that one out of this save. Okay, so what are we gonna do? First of all, I think she wants to make another Sim happy. She still wants to adopt a cat. But how much is a refrigerator? Okay, that's what I need to know. A refrigerator is the cheapest one is two fifteen. She has forty five simoleons in cash, and I don't know how much she has in her bank account. Hold on, one hundred and fifteen. So she doesn't quite have enough. Tomorrow she'll be able to buy a fridge, so that'll be great. That'll solve a lot of problems. Her diet's water and bar chips right now. Yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do? She does want to become disliked by Vanessa, so maybe we should invite. We should invite Vanessa over and become disliked by her. Did I say Vanessa? Vanessa. Where are you? Where are you, Vanessa? Oh, there you are. I don't know if she'll come over because they are, like, enemies. Let's see. I'm going to see if she's going to come over. She would rather not come. She's not falling for that. She's not going to fall for that. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll invite him back over. Uh, we'll invite him over to the lot. Come on over. He will be right over. <laughs> I think it's funny that she didn't come over. Okay, he's here. Yeah, where? Hold on. Let me. We can look and see for a, a, about a lunchbox. Let's see. Oops. Lunch. How do I buy a lunchbox? Let's go to cooler. Coolers are more. Well, this cooler is one forty-five, but I think I'll just wait till tomorrow and get her a fridge. Okay, come on. Um, let's go blow him a kiss. Let's start out flirty. Let's start out strong and flirty. Leave a flame, flaming bag of turd on her doorstep. <laughs> I definitely agree that the different playthroughs are the different multiverses of Pleasant Views. Yeah. I'm playing a new Pleasant View in Sims 2 on my laptop, too. Okay, let's see. Um, ask to go get tested? No, I'm not going to ask him to go get tested right now. Hey, want a woohoo in my shit bush? <laughs> he probably does. I mean, he's already been in there once. He obviously doesn't mind. <laughs> yes, the paper delivery girl will naturally bring her to being an art critic vigilante. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't like any of those. Do something else. Compliment appearance. Oh, she was trying to... What does she want to do? Does she still want to talk about... She wants, still wants to talk about her previous cheating partners. So hold on. We're going to do that. Where was it? Oh, yeah. Explain about cheating former partners. Let's see what he says to that. He gave a thumbs up? 
Okay, Esther plucked up the courage to talk to her partner about her fear of commitment. This was a great start at opening the lines of communication and making Esther a stronger sim. Good. I'm glad. That's awesome. I do like that. That's really cool. Express fondness. And then start kissing that salty neck. <laughs> hey, want to go fight a blue-haired harlot? <laughs> She still, she does, she does not like Vanessa. Okay, I'm not gonna, should I propose? I guess I'm gonna propose. We'll see what happens. I mean, he's gonna say yes. Yibs. Yibs. Okay, well, they're engaged now. That was super fast. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> she needs his last name. Hekekia. Hekekia. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all. Hekekia? Hekekia? I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. But finally, we have our man. We have our couple. These two are going to... They're going to be the parents. They're going to be the, the creators of our, of our legacy. <laughs> Well, she just got engaged to a, an evil merman, secondhand. Our founder just got engaged to an evil merman. So, offer him a rose. <laughs> Gen Zero founders, yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. Things are going so well. I'm really happy with how this is going. <laughs> let's see do a passionate kiss why not you know what since they just got engaged let's uh let's let's celebrate with a woohoo in the poo bush <laughs> his last name sounds like a girl from a greek myth that probably bangs some god or something i know it kind of does She's not going to destroy her children's self-worth. No. I mean, she is critical, but. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching the Agnes Crumplebottom video. I hope you liked it. Did he use anything? He used, he used a con, he's using condoms. So I don't think he's ready to have a kid yet. <laughs> Yay, poop bush! I don't know why we're yaying for the poop bush. We're waiting for the, we're yaying for the woohoo. Yeah, there's a chance, but it's very low since he's using condoms. Once they get married, though, they're not. We're not gonna do that anymore. But I don't want to get them married on this stream because I only have a few minutes left in the stream. So I think I want to wait till next stream to get married. Yeah. And it also depends on the cycle of the sim, too. Yeah, that's right. She's... I don't know where she is in her cycle. I forgot how to check. Oh, my God. I'm looking through all of her stuff real quick. She's got plenty of time, though. Uh, she does not want a child right now, either. Well, too bad, but neither of them want a, want a child right now, but... uh. It's gonna happen for them, because we have to have a- They have to have at least one child for our legacy to work. <laughs> we already did propose. Yeah, they're engaged. Oh, from the phone? Is that how I check it? Check period tracker. Yes, it's on her phone. You're right. Let's check her period tracker real quick. And then we can kind of see, like, when we're gonna have a chance for a baby. Yeah, I need to make sure her, that's what her uh, thing is set to. Hold on. So, currently she's at day three of her cycle out of nine days. Next P PMS is coming in five days. Next period starts in six. Most fertile days coming up in four days. So, that's perfect. She's going to ovulate in five days. That'll be just about perfect timing for them. Um, okay, so, yeah. I want to change. I want to make sure that her... Pregnancy and family, thoughts on having children, let fate and time decide. 
And then can I set his as well, or do I have to be controlling him? Let's see. Yeah, I have to be controlling him, but I set I will set his when he moves in. Thank you, kitty. <laughs> Uh, okay, he's got to go. He's like, all right, thanks thanks for that. I got to go. But you know what? She's got to go, too, because she's got to go get her second dose of chips for the day. She's got to get her second serving of chips. Let's go get her to uh, Willow Creek real quick. And where, where are we? Going to the Blue Velvet, where they have the most delectable chips in all of the lands. She goes here every day. Uh, I do have my wedding stories. Yes, I do. <laughs> we can do a nice wedding for them in the next stream if you guys want to. Or we can just have them get hitched to the front yard of the shack. I mean, either way. <laughs> she doesn't have much money, so I don't know how much they're going to be able to do. They might just have to get hitched in front of the shack. Uh, let's grab some chips. <laughs> Hello, I'm back again. Need more chips. I was here 12 hours ago, but you know, I'm hungry. Who's that? Summer holiday. They could have a bar wedding. The food is chips. <laughs> Everybody eat all the chips you want. They're on me. Chips and water. Uh, they could go to the town hall in Tartosa as it's free and not broken like proper weddings. Oh, great idea, great idea, Shoujo. That's a great idea. Is she going to light the fireplace? Okay, cool. Uh, she also wants to dance to stereo music, so come on over here and dance. Might as well celebrate your engagement. Hi, bartender, you know the drill. Give me a bowl of chips and a glass of water and look the other way. <laughs> Summer holiday looking like winter break. Oh my god, Bella's back. Look at her. <laughs> oh my god, who is that? Cassandra Goth is in here. She just fell down. Who's she a fan of? I don't know who she's a fan of. Is she a fan of me? <laughs> her usual is just chips. Okay, are you flirting with- you better not be flirting with him. I thought she was flirting with Travis. She wants to have a drink. Let's get her... You know what? We'll spend a little bit of money. There's a drink just sitting there. Go drink that. Will that count? Just go drink whoever's drink that is. Go get that drink. Just go pick up that drink off the bar. Stop talking to him. She's gonna go drink somebody's abandoned drink. That is so gross. And unsafe. <laughs> she flirted with Travis. Damn it. She can't help herself. She's super flirty right now. There was an earthquake where you live, the OG Sailor Mercury? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that goth baby is our future. I see the vision. That goth baby could be married into the could be married into the legacy. She's gotta oh, she's really gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, it's, after she goes to the bathroom, I think it'll be time for her to... Well, no, I mean, why would she go home? There's nothing for her to do at home. She might as well keep hanging out here for a little bit longer. At least she can have some company. And something to do. Because she has nothing at her shack. There's nothing there. <laughs> She's sowing her wild oats, that's right. She's got to get it all out of her system before she gets married. She's going to come down and listen to the blues. <laughs> Uh, man, I'm sorry about the earthquake. That kind of sucks. I hope everything's okay. <laughs> Are you- Really, Eliza? You came to the bar and cleaned the table? You do not have to do that. Okay, she is getting kind of tired now, but it's only 6.30pm. Like, I don't want to send her home to go to bed at 6.30, but she does have to get up super early for work. She has to be at work at 6am. Hopefully she will get promoted. She has not practiced her writing. That's probably what she should have been doing, is going to the library and practicing her writing. But she's so flirty, all she can think about is her her new engagement and all that. So I think at like 7 o'clock, we'll send her home and she can start getting ready for bed. Uh, maybe we should get some chips. 
Oh, there's no mixologist here. Okay, our mixologist is gone. That's great. All right, so I guess we're going home then. Don't go sleep on a bench. Oh, I just won two tickets to the San Machino Theater sold out show. Want to go with me? Well, she has to go. Yes. Okay, never mind. She just got asked out to a show with her man, so she is going. <laughs> Leaving the bar at 7 o'clock to sleep. Very millennial behavior. <laughs> I know. Uh, but now she's going out. She's going out with her fiancé, going out to the sold-out show, and then she'll go. I don't, I don't know how long that's going to take, but she's going to be really tired when she gets home because she's tired right now. Aren't you, Esther? Wait, get back here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the murder of 1313 21 Sheik Street was such a terrifying performance. Who would have thought it was all a true story? I feel sorry for the poor saps that live in that apartment. Um, oh, an acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you? Try being a little nicer. Does somebody who dislikes her? It must be this girl. It must be Vanessa, her mortal enemy. So I guess she went to the show. It's 9.34 p.m. now, so she really does need to go to bed. Yeah, it's off screen when they go to the- when they do that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save here. And I think this will be a good stopping point for us, guys. I'm so happy with how it went. She found her a man, even though he's an evil merman. That's going to make it even more interesting as part of our little legacy here. And in our next, uh, next time we play this, we will be getting them married. All right. And then we get to, uh, I can't wait to have a kid so we can randomize all their stuff. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Johnny. <laughs> Yeah, also millennial behavior, pretending she can handle staying out later. Yes, I agree. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will see you all tomorrow for Strange Town Saturday. Can't wait for that. Um, hopefully my internet holds up. It did really well today. And uh, so hopefully the problem is fixed and we won't have any problems tomorrow. Cross your fingers. And we will be playing... Who are we playing tomorrow? I think we're playing Tina. I think we're playing Tina and Willis tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. I hope you have a great Friday night and a great weekend if I don't see you again. And don't forget to go watch my video I published on YouTube today about Agnes Crumplebottom. All right. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.